As the summer real estate season continues to heat up and interest rates are still at lower levels, more home buyers are on the hunt for a mortgage. But which loan is right for your home? With us today is John Holt, president and CEO of Nutmeg State Financial Credit Union, to break it all down for us. This is not, you know, a quick, quick conversation. You definitely need a lot more information. But to give us a bit of an overview, talk to us a little bit. We just said mortgage rates are good. This is yep. a good time. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny because you would think as you hear interest rates rising, um, our rates are still actually around 4% for the 30-year fix, but there's a lot of variables that kind of go into determining which right mortgage is right for you. There's shorter term, there's longer term, there's ones that have home loan assistance programs, so it just depends. The best thing to do is uh, talk to a mortgage consultant because they give you a lot of information and will ask you a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. And you're joining us from the credit union. So yes. what's the difference between getting a loan from the credit union versus your traditional bank? I'm glad you asked that question. So the difference between a bank and credit union is very similar in the way it looks. But a credit union is a not-for-profit organization. We, Because we don't pay any, um, we pay low fees, lower rates on mortgages. <clears throat> Uh, and higher rates on deposit accounts because we're not for profit organization and we not make state financial we've been expanding onto the shoreline we just opened a branch in orange and we have one coming in stratford by the end of the year and one in milford um, early next year so we have a lot of branches in and around the hartford area right now but we're moving down this way are there some things that you should do prior to applying for a mortgage loan yeah one of the things that you should make sure you do is you look at your credit report kind of make sure that it's got everything right on it. There's no inconsistencies because your credit score oftentimes determines your loan interest rate. And if you're looking for the best rate, you want to make sure your credit report is correct. If you already have a mortgage loan, when do you know when it's the right time to refinance? So you really have to take a look at, okay, how much is it going to cost to refinance? Because there's closing costs involved. You have to make sure, where's my break-even point here? What, how long will it take me to pay back any of these closing costs or these costs associated with refinancing? That's the first thing. And then determine, okay, am I going to be in this home for a long-term, short-term? Am I going to be staying in the area for a while? Am I going to be transitioning? Um, that'll determine if it's a longer term interest rate <clears throat> or a shorter term uh, loan. And oftentimes the shorter terms has the lower rates. Mm -hmm. So you really have to determine what's going to be right for you and what you're going to be doing going forward. And really sitting down with an expert like yourself is, is so much better. It's nice to get all of this information, but having someone like you kind of help and walk through the process is so much better. Yeah, because there's a lot of different variables. And, you know, we have, you have to do that this interview process because, again, it just determines how long you want to keep the loan for, how long you're going to be in the home for. Is this a starter home? Are you a first-time home buyer? If you are, there's uh, assistance with down yeah. payments. A lot of things to consider. Yes. Thank you so much for Thank spending you. your morning with us and providing such important information. If you want more information, you can always go to our website, WTNH.com. We'll post all of the information online. Go to the on-air tab, pull down the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section.